This is the kind of stuff you have to always be on the lookout for. Trash that has floated in from somewhere with nails in it. So you don't just want to leave this stuff laying around because it will puncture your tires at some point. And what you don't want it to deal with is not only <laughs> that is the meanest thing and they wonder why i always pick on you that picking goes both ways y'all that picking goes both ways <laughs> i don't know what to say Jay. i don't know what to say are those bees in there god i hope not too <laughs> How am I gonna move that big ass one by six with, with my bad shoulder? Yo, you need this one by six back. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are back to the Plum Grove property. I wanna show y'all what we've done to the barn house. Now listen, before we get over there, just understand, this is a part of the process that you have to go through when you get home, when you get water in your home. And so you're not gonna judge, you're gonna, well, you can judge these geese. If you wanna judge, you can judge these geese. Y'all are making a horrible mess all across the concrete. This concrete used to be nice and, I just now see you're making a big mess across the concrete. That's all I was trying to say. Oh my God. Look at how you could never tell. From here, you could never tell there was a couple of feet of water inside this house no more than less than a week ago. Right? Until, until this. Dun, dun, dun. Y'all ready? Everyone with me on three. One, two, three. Dun, dun, dun. It's hard to look at, but everything below the line that we had to cut out was no good. All the insulation, all of the sheetrock, everything has to be dried out. And then there's still quite a bit of stuff just to be cleaned. Guys, it's a mess. I'm telling you, it is a real mess. We have wiring that needs to be tucked away most things in here are fine but it's uh i'll tell you I've, we've gone back and forth on how much do we want to spend and invest in trying to restore this place because even though it's true there have been some families who have stayed here temporarily I don't foresee myself ever needing to live here. Ellie and Megan are very happy. I know it's loud, friends. It has to be loud for all the air we have moving around. You have to get this place to dry out with the dehumidifiers and other things. Uh, this AC is completely out on us. It got a little bit too wet and it is no longer any good. And then you're not gonna keep this place cool because of the fact that you have holes you have literally you have holes that go right out into yeah you're not going to keep it cool but so much work so much work it's sad for me to look at Isn't it a blessing to know that at least you have a place? Because after Hurricane Harvey, there was no there was no place to go. And this was what you had to do to create a livable space out of a barn. 
But uh, I'm gonna take a few minutes and show you some ideas of what I think we're going to do. The sheetrock is fine. Now, of course, we didn't cut it all the way straight. So there'll have to be some straightening up of everything, but we're gonna use metal tin. Corrugated metal, very similar to what we have up here. We're gonna use the same kind of metal along the bottom and run it downward, just going down. And then we're gonna put some framing across over here, some like some trim, which will give us a nice differentiation between the sheetrock and the metal. And then if we ever have any issues like this in the future, and more than likely we will, there's gonna be more flooding. We'll always have just the metal to take off and replace if it doesn't in fact get up any higher than, than that two and a half foot mark right there. But as of right now, the process is to let everything dry. You have to just let everything dry. It has to dehumidify and just let the blower stay on and everything just has to dry. And then at some point, once it's all dry, we'll come by and we'll spray it with the chemicals to make sure there's no mold or anything that can kind of survive. What's going on out there, Xander? The geese are oh, the geese are attacking? When geese attack. <laughs> oh, the rescue goats. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, the little rescue goats, Xander. Look how cute they are. They're bottle babies. They're, they're orphaned. Their mom died in all the flooding, and they were left. They are very skinny, though, and uh, they've already dewormed them, but they may, they, they may have some lingering issues. Look out, little one. You got to look out. Look out for the geese. Look out for the geese. No. Leave the babies alone. Leave the babies alone. All y'all, leave these babies alone. Y'all need to look out, little babies. They got geese everywhere. These geese are mean. Welcome to our farm. You got to always look out for these mean geese. I'm going to run that way over there. I'm, ah! I'm running that way. I'm running. I'm running away. Come on. Come on, y'all. Let's get out of here. Let's go where we're safer. There's no safety here. There's nothing safe about this. So most everybody knows what we've done. <sighs> we're utilizing this room in here, which is the old carport, where we're going to keep our saddles. This is all, everything's out of the weather in here. We're going to keep our saddles and keep all of our stuff inside of here best we can. And let everything dry out. We will come back later. See, this here got water all over it. Look at here. That's how high the water got inside the house. And so that will have to all be cleaned. And, uh, yeah, it's just a real... Just a real mess. Don't get into everything, y'all. Don't get into everything, please. <laughs> Uh-oh, Lester. Open on live Friday. Well, today's Saturday, so I guess I missed that by a day. That's why I always say don't send stuff. Don't send stuff. Lester Marl, Jamie Walker. There's a couple of things I... Maybe I'll open that stuff right now. Lester, open live on Friday. Maybe I'll just take it with me and open it next Friday on my Lunch with Longhorn Lester Live. That's what I should probably do. That's what I'll do, y'all. Okay, that's what I'll do. Let's walk out and have us a peek around the barn. <laughs> Goats are the most wonderful things when they're babies. They only get to become very annoying when they get older. Once they're older, then they get to be just not near as fun. Hi, Corny. Hey, sir. Hi, buddy. Hello, mister. You're such a handsome fella. I love you so much. Are you being sweet or are you being mean today? No comment. I miss you all. Daddy misses you so much. This other daddy, Daddy Wetter, misses you so much. Y'all need to hush it up, Nate. We have turkeys 
or peacocks trying to mess with chickens. Corny, don't do that, Corny. Hi, everybody. Hello. Oh, hello to you all. So the water, oh, Corny, stop it. The water over here is not working. We're having to water. Hey, Corny, stop it. I'm going to put you in that cage. I'm going to, hey, son. How you doing? Ellie, Corny's being super aggressive for some, ah, why did you do that? He's being super aggressive, son. Get away from me. You're making me bleed. You're going to make me bleed. Now stop it. Ellie, Ellie help me. He's biting me, son. How do you suspect I pick him up? He's not going to give me a chance to hold the bottles. Ouch! That hurt. Ellie, I need you to come over here and get this turkey off of me. <laughs> Please, son. Hurry, help your dad. Thank you, son. You want him in here? Oh, oh lordy. Thank you, Corny. That's what you get. Uh-uh. Oh, God. Hi. Hello, unibrow. Ellie, the unibrow. unibrow. You get it? Yeah. Anthony Davis. Oh, you're talking about Oki. Oki. Oh. <laughs> With his unibrow. We miss you all. Hope you're having fun back home. Hope you're all having fun. Hey, Ernie. Oh, boy. These babies are going at it. Well, that one isn't two of them are. Which one were you the most concerned with? This one. The one that's the boy, but he's the speckled one. Yeah. He looks a lot like Leonard. Leah. Uh, Lenny. Lenny. Oh yeah. They're beautiful. Hi, Angel. We've missed you so much, Angel. How come you're being so quiet, Angel? How come you're being so quiet today? You're not talking too much, Angel. Oh, you missed me too. It will be angels. <laughs> oh, okay. Want me to feed this one? Yeah, you can. I'll tr gladly try. Hey, this is some good baba. It's a good baba. Why don't you eat it? There you go. Jack, you sure are handsome. Missing a few feathers there, but he sure is a good looking guy. You're a great looking guy, Mr. Jack. You sure a good looking guy. There's Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. Hi, little buddy. Oh, Ziggy, we missed you over at Longhorn Lester's. He went with uh, Cornholio to Megan's house for the flood evacuation. Well, as you can see, it's gonna be quite a while. Hey, sweetie. Hi, good morning. Hello, baby girl. As you all can see, it's gonna be quite a while before we get back 100% to where we were before. So I told Ellie, I said, stop telling everybody in about a week because in a week we may get people back inside their homes. You want some loving or not, sweetie? Kitty, 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 kitty. It may be a little while to get everyone back inside their homes, but to have a complete restore of the property to the beauty that it was before this flooding, it's gonna be a lot more than a week because just things don't happen overnight. And uh, I don't, I'm not upset with Ellie for saying that. Just I remember that Ellie during Hurricane Harvey was back and forth between here and his mom. So what he saw was just kind of stuff on the weekends. He was still in school, high school. And so now everything's different. And I'm not living here. I was living here then full time. So now it's just kind of, I'll work on days that I can get over here. And on days that I can, it'll be jobs that Ellie and Megan are able to do. But, uh, yep. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And thank you all for allowing me to show you around a little bit and give you kind of an update of where we're at. We love you so much. We're blessed to have you. And this rebuild, along with so many other things in our life, would have never been possible without you all. We're blessed to have you. And there's my boy right there. I'm coming to talk to you. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah.
something like that.